Hello and welcome to the final day of Wikimania 2021. My name is Winnie Kabinti from the Wikimedia community in Kenya and I've also been part of the Wikimania co-organizing team. I can't believe it's the last day already. It feels like we just got started. A very warm welcome once again. Thank you for joining us and we hope you've been enjoying all those five days. We would like to hear your thoughts on some of your highlights of Wikimania, please do engage with us on the chat, in the Telegram groups, and also uh, on Twitter. The hashtag is Wikimania21, and do share your highlights. And also in the same breath, we would also like to collect your, your feedback regarding your experience in Wikimania. So we will have a feedback survey that will go around. Please do fill it in and help us make future Wikimanias actually better. So allow me to introduce uh, the second session or rather the plenary session of Wikimania today. And this is on reflecting on the past, the present, the future of Wiki, Wikimania and the media. And now it's my honor to introduce Dr. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus, who is the director of the World Health Organization. Dear colleagues and friends from across the Wikimedia community, the internet and social media platforms have been a double-edged sword for the global response to COVID-19. On one hand, they give people access to unprecedented amounts of good information. On the other, they have enabled harmful conspiracy theories and falsehood to spread. No single organization can manage this infodemic alone. We must work across sectors and with new partners. Last year, WHO joined forces with the Wikimedia Foundation to expand access to the latest and most reliable information about COVID-19. This partnership has made WHO resources available under a free license so Wikipedia editors can use them to improve articles about COVID-19. As a result, Wikipedia has become a trusted source of information about COVID-19 for millions of people around the world. I thank the many dedicated volunteers who contribute their time and expertise, especially to the COVID-19 articles on Wikipedia in multiple languages. We all have a role to play in ensuring equitable access to accurate public health information, regardless of where you live or the language you speak. We look forward to continuing our work with you to create a healthier, safer and fairer future for everyone, everywhere. I thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Tedros. Thank you very much, Dr. Tedros. And next, we have a message from Mr. Sal Khan, an American educator and the founder of the Khan Academy, which is a free online education platform. Hi, everyone in the Wikipedia community and at Wikimania, Sal Khan here from Khan Academy. And first of all, I just wanted to, frankly, thank all of you for doing the work that you do. Uh, many folks don't remember in the late 90s, uh, it was obvious that the internet was a way to disseminate information, even disseminate knowledge. Uh, and a lot of people were trying to make money off of it. And it felt very utopian and maybe even overly idealistic back in 2001 when Wikipedia was started that really thoughtful, really competent people around the world, just purely out of the goodness of their heart, would contribute to a project that could be as good, and as we later learned, better than pretty much anything else out there. And on one level, uh, it was a, a mind-blowing idea, 
But on another level, it's hard to imagine the world before Wikipedia. It's hard to imagine what the internet would be without Wikipedia. But it's also important to emphasize just the example that Wikipedia has set. Khan Academy uh, would not be a not-for-profit, or I don't think I would have had the belief that it could exist as a not-for-profit if not for all of y'all's work in showing what Wikipedia could do, how it could scale, how it could innovate, how it can preserve knowledge. And over the several decades, which is equivalent to centuries in, in internet time, has really stood the test of time and has shown that it's unparalleled in its ability to share knowledge, in its ability to evolve and, and make sure that humanity gets good information. And I think now more than ever, uh, people are hungry for good, credible information. I, I, I was once introduced at a, at a talk where someone said, you know, the irony is when there's a flood, uh, that's oftentimes that the people might ex actually experience dehydration. And I think we have a similar thing in the internet today. We have a flood of information with social media and what else. Uh, but there's actually very few places where people can go that are, they're not politically motivated, they're not just in their bubble, and it is actually a source of truth. And I think Wikipedia is the lighthouse example for that. And I view almost Khan Academy as a, uh, you know, as, as a layer on top of that, uh, that that can give extra instruction and texture. But obviously, the the breadth and depth of what Wikipedia uh, can do is is really unsurpassed. So I just want to thank all of y'all for showing that that humanity is fundamentally good uh, and that uh, it, it gives me hope in, in where we're going as a civilization for projects like Wikipedia to exist and to continue to evolve, that we won't enter, you know, I give the example of Harry Seldon in the Isaac Asimov's foundation series of creating the foundation to preserve the world's knowledge, to prevent the future galactic empire from going into a dark ages. Well, if there's anything comparable to that, uh, it's Wikipedia and maybe Khan Academy plays a little role as well. Uh, but it's Wikipedia really is, I think, one of these core institutions of the internet. And frankly, I would say now of the world, and it wouldn't be possible without all of y'all's help and, and tireless effort. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Khan. Indeed, we have a flood of information and we have to preserve it. And now it's my joy to introduce Butch Bustria, who is a member of the Wikimania Steering Committee and also the coordinator of the ECAB Hub to talk about what the future holds for Wikimania 2022. Hello and welcome to the final day of Wikimania 2021. I am thrilled to meet you virtually and on behalf of the organizers, we appreciate that you joined the conference. We sincerely hope that you enjoyed the many informative and entertaining sessions throughout the days. We want to acknowledge the major earthquake that struck Haiti. Our hearts and thoughts are with the people of Haiti and the the Wikimedia Community User Group Haiti. As well, uh, we are concerned about the access to education, women's rights, and the state of glam institutions in Afghanistan, and we only hope for a peaceful outcome. I am Butch Bustria, a member of the Wikimania Steering Committee, an overseas Filipino Wikimedian, coordinator of the East, Southeast Asia, and the Pacific, or ESIAP and that person you saw in 2019. Uh, thank you, Stockholm, and see you in Bangkok. Not one day, but how many days? <laughs> <laughs> the organizers of Wikimania 2019 in Stockholm did an amazing job and set the bar high, empowering more community members in groups to review and select program content was one innovation adopted since. We are ever grateful to the Wikimania Steering Committee for trusting ESIA and Wikimedia Thailand to host Wikimania 2020 in Bangkok. We are eager to start planning right after the previous organizers passed the responsibility. It would have been the first time that we, a group of community members with diverse cultural, ethnic, socioeconomic identities, would plan the Wikimedia movement's largest event. We come up with a theme, power of diverse collaboration, sharing knowledge brings people together. The last time Wikimania went to Asia was nearly a decade ago in Hong Kong. 
It was my first Wikimania, and I experienced the life of our regular Wikimedian immersing with a new and established members of the international community. It was my life-changing moment. I am honored to be mentored by Australian Craig Franklin, who is no longer with us on project management catered for Wikimedians. Many of what I've learned from him, I apply in my volunteer engagements, including Wikimania. Danny, who will be speaking later, the founder of Wikidata, taught me one-on-one -on -one the basics of Wikidata. At first, honestly, I do not do much Wikidata as I'm a whole hardcore Wikipedia editor. But after basic, uh, learning basic Lua years later, I was able to improve articles in English, Tagalog, Cebuano, Waray, Pangasinan, Bicol, and other languages in the Philippines, as well as Bahasa Melayu, for integrating Wikidata content to those Wikipedia language projects. The ECF organizing team faced an, a challenging road no other organizers had ever imagined. There were valid concerns raised by our community members, such as a dengue fever epidemic, torrential rainfall, and the political situation in the whole city. However, the pandemic was the major test in our risk assessment. It was a tough decision not to have Wikimania in 2020. In January of this year, it was announced that Wikimania will be shifting to an online environment. As we know, Wikimania has gone from a youth hostel to museums, university campus, hotel convention centers, and now a new venue, a virtual one. With this, the Wikimania Steering Committee selected the volunteers fit for this type of event. Eight persons, thousands of kilometers apart, formed the 2021 Wikimania core organizing team. This year was tough. The team faced a narrow timetable, learning a new virtual platform and meeting in various time zones. Yet the organizing team working in partnership with the Wikimedia Foundation's communications team and the Wikimania steering committee raised the bar even higher and we all enjoyed the fruit of this hard labor. We also salute the safety support volunteers and user fairs for the community village for their tireless effort in helping our event participants. As we close Wikimania later today, we want to hear from the next host. Following the latest steering committee meeting, the following consensus was reached. And I quote, our current thinking is to have virtual Wikimania in 2022, and we are open to a hybrid approach or in real life aspects that are justified given the developing global situations. ISIAP would still like to host the next in-person Wikimania, hopefully in 2023, once an in-person event in a single venue or city is generally acceptable to many of you. We receive valuable feedback from you, such as further usage of free and open licensed software, packet conferences in various locations of the world, and continuing using our virtual platform on remote event participation. We have a wider timetable in our hands. We are greatly appreciate your help to sign up to take a volunteer role for Wikimania 2022 once we publish the details. Please share your thoughts and reflections about Wikimania 2021. An email will be sent to you after this event with a survey. We appreciate your time in filling it out so that we can make the next year even better. Wikimania is resilient and will remain an important annual opportunity to bring our community together. Whether person or online, our focus on sharing and learning together will remain strong. 
We invite you to a panel discussion later at 1500 UTC in Building 5 on the future of Wikimedia. We have Kelsey Stein Rowe moderating, Joa Latang of uh, Wikimedia Events, and my colleague Phoebe Ayers of the Wikimedia Steering Committee, Yamen Boshirish of the 2021 Wikimania core organizing team and Douglas Cut of the Wikimania Cape Town 2018. Eight years ago, there was a panel on Imagine Wikipedia in 2022. And uh, Wikimedia Deutschland for the time machine. And I do hope we will see you 10 years from now again with the same panel. See who was right. <laughs> Thank you. People had predicted a lot of weird things then on what will happen in 2022, including video conferencing, the foundation's new revenue streams, and Wikimania with a much larger number of registrants. With one year left, let us see if those and other bold predictions match the real 2022. Well, we wish to have a reenacted or sequel of that Wikimania 2022 with Deror and Christoph, this time with real testimonials. And yes, we need to have a Wikimania theme song. We are motivated to continue Wikimania 2022 at all means possible so that we can leave a mark for future Wikimedians to watch and look back. Have a wonderful, productive last day of Wikimania 2021 from nighttime here in Southeast Asia. Don't be tricked with the background. It's Zoom. Terama kasi, domo arigato gozaimas, mabuhay kayong lahat at sa ating muling pagkikita sa hinaharap. Thank you, everyone. See you later. Thank you very much for those great remarks. Indeed, we love that background. I must also say that Butch has also been the gifted hands behind the Wikimania social media platforms. At this point, we want to reflect on 25 years of Wiki technology. As many of you might know, last year was the 25th anniversary of the first Wiki going online. And now we are going to have a short talk by Ward Cunningham, who is the inventor of Wiki, with an introduction by Phoebe Ayers of the Wikimania Steering Committee, and also a reflection by Denny Randicic, who is the founder of Wikidata. In 1995, a programmer in Portland, Oregon, who was working on pattern languages for programming, created something called the Portland Pattern Repository. It was accompanied by a companion website, the WikiWiki Wiki Web, which was the world's first wiki. That programmer was Ward Cunningham, and that site started a revolution in how content on the web could be created and changed. The WikiWiki Wiki Web is more than just a website. It became a home for people who were interested in collaboration, and many of the cultural practices and philosophies developed there became embedded in the early practices of Wikipedia. As we think about the future of collaboratively created knowledge from the global to the local, our imagination builds on the foundation developed by Ward. One of Ward's ideas mentioned in this video is the Federated Wiki, which is a conception of a wiki that would be distributed in a decentralized manner, hosted by many people. Imagining what a wiki that follows the pattern of a distributed physical community might look like, like a town square or houses with shared courtyards, could lead us to new innovations in knowledge creation online. Ward has been a part of the Wikimedia community since the beginning. He was one of the featured speakers at the very first Wikimania in 2005 in Frankfurt, and we are honored that he is with us at Wikimania again in 2021. Over to Ward. Well, welcome to Wikimania. Hello to Bangkok. We wish we were there. 
I want to thank the organizers for this chance to speak. Uh, it's been 25 years of Wiki, 20 years of Wikipedia, 16 years of Wikimania. I spoke back then at the first Wikimania of Federating Wiki. Not this wiki, but a place that might have special properties. History is seen. Ten years of Federated Wiki now is a good time for me to report back here as to how it's going. I'd like to describe it more as a feeling than a technology. It feels a little like the blogosphere because people have their own places, but it's different because the reader is completely different. The reader tries to make it feel like a wiki and does a pretty good job of it. It's less like a newsroom and more like a retreat. It's a place to go and be yourself. It's like a cottage at the beach or the mountains. It's a place to make things and keep things you've made. It's like an artist's retreat. It's more than that because the cottages exist in clusters with courtyards that are shared by neighbors. Uh, we call these uh, courtyards uh, the lineup. Cottages are narrow, you know, uh, one column width. You can see many at once. We compare the goings on and draw on them as a commons. It's a creative courtyard. It's good to have a couple of cottages that suit your changing moods. Go to the one that you're into in the moment. There are some skills to making this work. If you're not digging the party vibe in one courtyard, then find another or host one you do like. I've been in a few VR meetups that we're looking for the same atmosphere and some skills are required in each. Wikipedia too requires some skills and the community is to be commended for reaching out. Give, give yourselves a hand. I would like to mention some stats to give you an idea about how well this has been working. Uh, we've been watching the Wiki Federation for six years now, we've seen 2,500 sites since then, 1,500 at any given sweep. Uh, we see about uh, 50,000 unique pages omitting duplicates. Uh, we put a code on each one as they f f move around the Federation so we don't count them twice or three times or ten times. Sites edited this week represent about 15,000 pages. I'll focus more a little on just a couple sites that give you a feel for what gets done. Thompson Morrison approached me maybe three years ago and wanted to share the success that they had found in rural Oregon middle and high schools. A lot of their thinking was focused on uh, motivating creativity and kind of the same way that well, my original wiki focused on uh, computer programming and Agile and patterns and all that stuff. And so he was hoping to, uh, to use the federated wiki cottages to capture the systemic nature of reimagining that was taking place now on four continents uh, and reduced to a printed book that describes that experiment. It's called the Dayton Experiment, available on Amazon, and two more are on the way. Closer to home, I, I, I'd like to mention, well, the pandemic has been tough on all of us, and uh, for some it's been horrendous. Uh, for me, it turned my bicycle commute into a neighborhood wandering where I would just ride and go down dead ends that I might have passed by when I was in a hurry, spotting informal trails that crisscross the networks of creeks that have shaped my quarter of Portland, Oregon. I started just posting pictures of places I found, but
but this has grown in complexity month by month. My artistry is in computer programming, so with each new geographical question, I launch new workflows that collect and organize now 18 months of exploration. I've got 300 pages in one site, 600 images organized exactly the way I want to think about them this week. The pandemic has been hard for us, gruesome for many, but I'm intentionally programming my own memory with pleasant discoveries, which is how I will remember these months uh, or years to come. It's a, it's a tool for the way I work. So thank you and have a great event. I'll be hanging around and would love to chat. Thank you. Thank you, Ward, for this overview of where federated wikis are today. Since the introduction of wikis by Ward, a quarter of a century ago, we saw the cycle going from decentralized small sites to a small number of large, mostly commercial players. The cycle going from open web standards, where anyone could participate, to the epification of data, where you have to have the right mobile phone brand to do what the app owners graciously allow you to do. The cycle going from a vast common meadow to walled, controlled gardens. And hopefully, we are going to see that cycle going back again. 20 years of Wikipedia. Today's our projects are crucial, central pieces of the global infrastructure of knowledge. But what Cunningham's project of federated wikis envisions a more decentralized future, where a federation of wikis can live, not just one Wikipedia, where a federation of knowledge bases can live, not just one Wikidata, where a federation of open media repositories can live, not just one commons. It is time for us not only to celebrate and cherish and grow Wikipedia, the encyclopedia, but to learn how to turn Wikipedia into a pattern so that Wikipedia does not remain the last best place on the internet, but becomes the pattern for many new good places, interacting in a federation, allowing everyone to share in the sum of all knowledge. Thank you again, Ward, and thank you all for being part of this journey. I'm looking forward to the sessions today. Thank you very much, Phoebe. Ward and Denny for those great reflections on the 25 years of Wiki. Thank you everyone once again for joining us. Thank you for making Wikimania 2021 come to life. This was our first ever virtual Wikimania and we are happy. So we still have a number of great sessions lined up throughout the day, including a closing plenary on preventing misinformation during the COVID-19 pandemic that will take a look at how Wikipedia, public health experts and news media can collaborate to share trustworthy knowledge in times of crisis. And we also have a lightning talk by Dr. Chess, Dr. Jess, sorry, that will look at science and storytelling. The unconference and community village will also remain open until 2230 UTC. And at the end of the day, we have a celebratory toast as curtains close on Wikimania 2021. And we would be happy to see you there. Thank you and enjoy the final day of Wikimania 2021.